What up, the homies? The home is your homeboy, Grand Teacher. Change my name from Grand Tizzle to Grand Teacher because we teach you more about music. We teach you about life. There's a word that I want to introduce to you guys. It's a secret. It's a secret that the master pros don't want you to know. Secrets of the Miyaki producers. Now, what's a Miyagi producer? Well, you remember Mr. Miyagi on uh, Karate Kid? Well, Miyagi producers are producers or trainers or teachers that don't teach you every little secret to hide them from you. We are here to expose the secrets of the Miyagi producers. So the magic word today is transient. Transient. So let's look up a few definitions of what a transient is or what it means. At dictionary.com, number one says not lasting, enduring, or permanent, transitory. Now, let's look for transient acoustics. Now, that's the primary thing we're looking for, fam. Now, in Wikipedia, it says, in acoustics and audio, a transient is a high amplitude. Now, if y'all don't know what amplitude means, then you've been deceived by the Miyaki producers. So go over to todaysbeast.com and pick up Masters of EQ. Shameless promotion, but you gotta have this information if you don't know what amplitude is. Anywho, a transient is a high amplitude. In other words, volume, okay? Short duration, sound at the beginning of a waveform that occurs in a phenomena such as musical sound, noises, or speech. It can sometimes contain a high degree of non-periodic components and a higher magnitude of high frequencies than the harmonic constant of content of that sound. Now, if you don't know what that means, don't worry because I'm getting ready to show you in a few seconds. Now, what's the secret of the Miyagi producers, fam? Well, the Miyagi producers would never want you to know how they're getting their kicks and their drums banging and thumping and knocking the way it is. Well, we're going to talk about a tool called Envelope Shaper. And in reason in particular, there's one called D.Cam. Env shaper, so that's E N V shaper, and that is uh pretty much like a compressor for percussion for percussive sounds. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what this tool does and how it beefs or spruce up your kicks and your drums without the need of um knowing and understand the attack and the release and delay and sustain and threshold and ratio of a compressor. This kind of uh, takes care of all of those things. Now, <clears throat> first, let me pull up an a, a image <clears throat> of how a transient look. Give me a second. Okay, fam. I know that the videos should be kept pretty short. I learned that from my administrator at todaysbeast.com, Shirt. Shout out to Shirt today. And he encouraged that I keep these videos short. And I will. I definitely will keep them short. But some things just need a little bit of uh, explanation. And it may be a little long. So extend your, ex uh, extend your attention span a little longer. And also, I encourage you guys, because you know your homie Grand Tizzle got that smooth, warm voice, but all of a sudden, I'm hoarse today. <laughs> and I sound a little different. That's because I've been yelling and hooting and hollering at my kids to wash the dishes because them, them, them little guys don't want to clean up the house. So I had to yell at the kids and raise my voice. I'm not abusive, but, you know, they got to learn. <clears throat> so, anywho... Please forgive me, um, and, you know, I'll get my voice together in the next few days, and I'll be back to old smooth, silky, grand tizzle. But anyway, fam, um, let me let me show you how a transient look. This would be considered a kick. 
maybe I don't know what this percussion is. Maybe a high, that couldn't be a hi hat because it would have more of a peak. Maybe that's a shaker, and that will be considered a snare. Um, they have you know specific and you know distinctive looks. Well, the transient fam is this here. The transient is the peak of the sound. It, it would be more or less like the attack or the first sound heard, the first frequency heard out of that particular sound. Now, here is the secret of the Miyagi producers, fam. Miyagi producers, what they do, it, man, they don't tell you this, but a lot of intelligible ones, they use something called a transient shaper or envelope shaper. Hold on, give me a second. They use an envelope shaper. And what this envelope shaper, hold on, let me pull up a few of them. Give me a second. Now, you guys may have seen this. Notice it's a whole lot of them. Now, I'm whispering because I don't want them to know. Because if they know, they're going to try to shut me down. They're going to try to hate. I'm going to get a lot of thumbs downs. T, you don't know what you're talking about. Grind teach you, you don't know what you're talking about this, that, and the other. They don't really want you to know what the truth is. They don't want your drums knocking. They don't want the competition. So, they ain't going to never tell you this. But I'm going to tell you. But these is what they use, fam. They use transient masters. They use all these different plugins, and what these secret little plugins do, <laughs> it take the, you ever had a good, good quality drum sound, and for some reason you just can't get it to knock the way it should knock. You listen, you listen to they stuff, then you play your stuff, and you be like, dog, what is the, what's going on? Why can't my stuff sound like they stuff? Well, it's a reason for it. See, they use these transient um, <clears throat> um, promotes. It's, it's specifically this one, the transient designer. But all it has is an attack, a sustain, and a gain. Now, we're going to move on to the next tutorial. Follow me in the next tutorial. Make sure y'all share this, fam. Share this amongst the other producers because uh, it's time to, uh, you know, open the floodgate and let people really know what the real deal was going on, man. So, y'all stuff won't sound cheap. You're wondering why your stuff sounding cheesy. Why am I? Am I, I got the same drum samples Dre used. I got the same exact drum sample Sudden Such used. Why my stuff ain't sounding like that? We'll move on to the next tutorial. And you can find out the secret. And we're going to talk about transient masters and transient compressors and how they can help beef up your drum samples, man. Your homie Grant Tizzle. Share and do not despair, but move on. <laughs>